Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Prime 4 as we are playing with the 5th Portuguese Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. Uh, so, before we start, I'd like to mention that there will be a change with the schedule. You may have noticed that the French series is now over. Just put the finale up on Thursday. So that does mean that this series will be returning to the regular uh, Hoi 4 uh, schedule that I have. Uh, so it's going from uh, three videos a week to six videos a week. Uh, so basically every day we'll have a video of the series up uh, except for Monday. Uh, and that'll continue until the campaign is done with. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me how much longer I think the campaign is going to go as well as who we're going to be playing with next. Uh, it's impossible to say uh, how long this series is going to go because the United States is actually uh, much more powerful than I thought they were. They didn't have that many divisions there for a while. If I had to guess, what I think happened uh, is that they got a bunch of exiled divisions. Uh, so, you know, they have access to the, you know, the manpower and equipment of the exiled countries, which remember, there's a lot of them. You got the British, you got the French, you know, the Belgians, the Dutch. Uh, there's uh, a lot of countries uh, for, you know, Polish, Czechs. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of countries that will be giving them exiled manpower and equipment that they can build divisions with, uh, you know, from that exiled country. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm guessing is they got a ton of exiled divisions uh, as well as their own. Of course, America has near unlimited resources, manpower and equipment and, and um, you know, the factories they have it just can produce so much equipment. Uh, so I think uh, <laughs> I think they're going to be a tougher fight. So I can't really say uh, like if I, I was initially thinking it was going to be about three to four episodes to get them defeated. But now I don't know. Uh, this could be a really tough fight, guys. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I do expect this going to be a little more challenging than we had all anticipated. I had some per one person thought I was going to beat them one episode. I'm not sure where they thought that. I think they were still thinking that America only had like 90 divisions. Uh, but they do not anymore. They've got hundreds now. Uh, so as far as what we're going to be playing next, uh, a while back, about a month ago, I, I had posted in our community section uh, my plans for the year. Uh, so maybe go check out that post. Uh, but essentially, there's five campaigns I want to play in vanilla. Uh, there's also you know some mods that I'm, I'm sure that we'll play this year as well. Uh, but as far as the five vanilla campaigns, which the next campaign will be one of those five, uh, there's also another five that I posted on there that we'd play if we had time in the year, but I, I don't know that we would. Uh, but the five that I want to play this year are Mexico, a democratic United States, uh, Spain, of course, with their new focus tree. Uh, the Hungarians, which will do like an Austria-Hungary uh, series. Uh, so that's four. And then the fifth one would be Japan. So Japan, Austria-Hungary, Spain, Mexico, and the United States. Uh, so those are the five I'd like to play. And the next campaign will be one of those five. Not stating which one, because I want to see what you guys uh, what you guys wanted. I already decided uh, which one, who we're going to be playing with for the next one. Uh, but for the one after that, I'm kind of curious who would play after that. So I, I would like to see your guys' uh, you know, guesses, who you think we're going to play, and uh, who we'd, you'd like us to play as well. Uh, maybe that'll impact who we play after the next campaign, which, again, will probably be a little while from now. But since who knows how long that next campaign will last. Uh, but, yeah, just um, go check out that community section you know, post if you want to see all the, all the campaigns that we may play this year. Uh, but, yeah, let's, let's go to start it, guys. So we've invaded into uh, Florida here and <sighs> my dumbass <laughs> tried to uh, I really wanted to cut these guys off go up around here grab that port and cut off the divisions that were here I should have just took the air base because now we're gonna have trouble getting control of the skies uh, we'll just have to see if we even can gain control of the skies now uh, we do have another invasion going into Virginia they should be getting there soon and then we have this invasion going into Samoa here and are they ready to go because if they are we will send them some of the divisions need a little bit more organization. They just got there. Remember, we sent five divisions over there. So we'll wait to send those. Uh, but what we could do is go ahead and set up some invasions here. Now, we have these troops. Uh, I think some of them need to train. Also, it looks like we... No, we don't have anything. Uh, let's go and get these guys training. Uh, does anybody have any uh, traits that we can uh, add to them? Looks like this guy does. Uh, but, oh, nothing there. Okay. So, no traits here just yet for any of our troops here. Uh, so, well, what we're going to do, uh, set up an invasion from here. We'll leave a few troops here. I think we're going to leave like five. Like five of the divisions. Let me do it this way. Just leave five divisions because we really want to hold this, so I don't want them to take it back. So, let's go and send those five. And then the other eight are going to go ahead and do an invasion. 
back into territory we've already taken, uh, but we have to invade again, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that invasion there. They'll get that planning. Well, these ones train up, then maybe we'll throw them into Florida once they're done training. Uh, but we need to make a change here, a key change. I did set some divisions up to build, uh, so we've got that going. Uh, but it's time to start moving to 40 width. Uh, so I had built just the 20 width division designs. We didn't have manpower and equipment to really go to 40 width initially. Uh, and also, I didn't know I was going to be invading the Americans, so I thought I just thought somebody else would do it. And I didn't think Little Portugal would have to do all the work, but I should have known better because the AI always makes us do all of the work. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move these over to uh, 40 width division designs, and essentially they're just going to be double what they currently have right now. So I'm going to get the motorized anti-tank, two of those, two motorized anti-air and then the four motorized artillery, and then these ones will be changing over to motorized. And I think we have to go all the way across here to get them at the 40 width, yeah. Uh, so gets us up to 40 width here. Um, I think these are good to go. Uh, we'll just go ahead and save this. And we're probably gonna have some equipment shortages. Um, let's just let it play for a sec and we'll see how bad the motorized is. Very bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, we'll, we'll pull back on the strategic bombers here because I'm, I'm sure rubber is gonna be an issue. And that'll allow us to then put into motorized. We'll also pull back on the infantry equipment a bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're actually still doing fine on on rubber. Uh, so yeah, I think this looks good. So I'm gonna leave this as is. Any factories you take from the Americans will go towards the uh, motorized equipment. Uh, what we might wanna go ahead and do because we have such a shortage, I'm gonna get rid of that uh, I think these are also using some motorized so we could always pull back on those but I feel like we need more divisions here okay uh, so the, remember these guys are attacking their Virginia and that's where we left off so we're gonna let them uh, continue their attack there these guys just failed in their attack uh, so they're gonna have to come back here and and we'll probably maybe we set them up to train or something it looks like we might have lost there yeah it does seem we lost there let's just give up on this man this is clearly not going to work here we're gonna have to wait until we either get control of the skies or we or we put, put another army over here, I think. I don't think we're gonna be able to push forward, guys. There's just too many divisions there. The Americans have a crap ton of divisions. Uh, and, and that's why I had initially thought this was gonna be a lot quicker than it looks like it's actually gonna be now. Uh, we finished building something, clearly. Uh, I thought it was gonna be quicker because I didn't have that many divisions, but now they do. Now they got a lot. We finished up uh, the light cruisers here. Let's go ahead and put them over to here. I think we're going to get this uh, task force up to 20 ships. Uh, and then uh, what we need to do is get another light cruiser line. Uh, I think we were waiting to modify these. That's why we, we only had to build one more. I think it was radar that they needed. Yeah. Let's get them the new radar. Let's go and save that. And then uh, build these. And we already have this one set to build one more. So let's go ahead and have them deployed. Oh, that's right, we're deploying them, them in the capital, aren't we? I mean, not that it really matters, but. All right, so uh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, continue the good fight, guys. So we're gonna really try and get to this airbase as quickly as we can, maybe try and rush towards Washington as well. We don't wanna push the front too far forward though, because we need to be able to protect this front, and it's only 15 divisions, guys. That is not a lot. And two of them are the motorized, which are going to be impacted by that change I made. Now, the reason why I made that change, um, even though we're in combat, is because, if you look at this, guys, we don't actually have any motorized divisions over here. Uh, it's only gonna impact the green army for right now. And let me see if these guys are ready, by the way. They might be ready to go. Yeah, this is good enough. Let's go ahead and, and, and tell them to to enact their invasion. And they shouldn't send these ones just yet because they're still gonna need more days to repair, to prepare, excuse me. All right. So we are there and it looks like there's nobody there to stop us. Uh, so we will be taking Norfolk without any resistance. Oh, never mind. they moved somebody there in the last moment, right when they saw us coming. Uh, but he probably moved on the railroad, so he's gonna be fairly easy to defeat. Uh, looks like offers for motorized because we are so short. We are gonna accept these because we do need, what is it, like 4,000? Yeah, it'd probably be good to, to accept that. All right, excellent, so we are now here, uh, and we have more divisions coming. They're right here. Let's go ahead and have them deployed here. And then what we wanna do is give them a planning bonus. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and start pushing forward, guys. Uh, we'll move the motorized this way, and then we're going to have the Marines. We're going to have three of them attack that way. Two, oh, those aren't the Marines, excuse me. But yeah, those divisions are going to attack that way. I thought we had Marines here. Apparently, we don't. Okay. That's fine. Let's just send one of them over that way. And then, like, a big chunk over that way, and about three divisions over here. Alright, so just try and grab this territory as quickly as we can. Get to good fronts. Most importantly, getting that airbase. That airbase has got to be grabbed. We've got to get it, guys. Alright. It's looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and get across the river here while we can. Uh, looks like this should be a easy win, so we will send... We're actually just going to send both of them over there. And then we might want to lock those guys down for a brief second here. And have these guys get across the river. Alright, looking good, guys. Looking good. Let's have them go across here. We're just going to send one division on over here. Alright, oh, also we have another unassigned division here. I mean, we have divisions just sitting all over the place. The problem right now is supply, man, supply. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys train up. They do have motorized divisions need to train. That uh, Marine took a little bit of casualties as well, so we'll train him up. And did we get the air base yet? Not yet. As soon as we get that, we want to get some planes over here. All right, so it has space for 600. Can we build any further here? No, we cannot. Uh, but what I might do, if, is there any other close air uh, naval bases? There's one right here. I don't know if we'll be able to get there. So what I'm going to do, because I really don't want to be in a position where you never know. It's just it's just one naval base there, guys. That is, is risky. So let's let's go ahead and build this up. I don't like only have one naval base with only 15 divisions. This is not a lot of divisions, guys. Let's go and push forward here. Yeah, it does look like we're going to lose there if we don't hurry up and get some divisions over there. Let's go ahead and bring some planes over here. Uh, and we actually have a ton of planes sitting over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move maybe 400 fighters. It's only only 600. That's all we have space for. Uh, so that'll get us up to 800, providing some air superiority, and then we'll just move our most experienced close air support on over to here to give a little bit of close air support. And that should let us contend for air superiority in the region, but we won't be able to seize it, unfortunately. All right, so uh, the, yeah, they are attacking us there and winning, but I think we should get more divisions there soon. Oh, damn. Yeah, we actually lost there. Uh, let's go and go here now, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the... I don't, I don't really feel... Well, I mean, if they're going to win... Uh, yeah, I don't really want to attack across the river there, guys, if we can avoid it. Uh, let's go and move these troops over here. All right, this is an attack across the river. There wasn't anybody there initially, so yeah, that's why I did the attack. Uh, we did win for both of those two provinces, though. Uh, and we're actually yeah, having to fight some divisions for many of these provinces at this point. All right, so let's just leave him there. Uh, we just need to get some more troops over here. Yeah, we're going to start having some problems, guys. All right, yep, maybe this is where we're going to be stopped. We need to hold that air base. Uh, that's key, uh, absolutely key. Uh, so we need to get another division over there as well. And how much longer until these guys are going to get here? Uh, looks like they are... A ways away. Almost the entire Atlantic they got across. Alright, I don't know if we have any other divisions that can move there to help us out. Also, it looks like we're not defending that province, uh, so we might want to change that up. Um, I know I have a ton of divisions here. Oh, it looks like we have these guys here. I thought they were moving over to here, did they not? Maybe supply was an issue they were worried about? I don't know. Um, what we'll do is just move them over here for now. Yeah, there's no reason for them to sit there. And then just take a couple of these purple, purple divisions here and just move them over to here just to make sure they can't invade Bermuda. Because yeah, I haven't sent anybody over here to defend this for us. So I'll bring that guy there and then like maybe one regular division here. It should hopefully be enough, but what we'll do is we'll probably send some more. We have a lot of divisions just kind of sitting around. You know what? Actually, let's bring this guy over there. Just because I don't know how supply is going to look here. Let's bring him over there, and that's probably good. Good to go. Let's take a look at the invasion here and see how things are going. All right, we're still going almost there. And uh, these guys, remember, they're not ready to go just yet. So we don't have to worry about them attacking. Yeah, defending here, and yeah, I just don't think we'll be able to advance there for a little while at least. Maybe until we get another army over there. Uh, we are going to get the 
province there. We can try and attempt to attack here. Uh, most of the divisions here are too weak to attempt an attack right there. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to have to wait. The organization's too damn low. All right. Uh, so getting across the river there, we'll, we'll take it if we can. Um, and we'll attack here, too, because that division's looking pretty damn weak. We'll attack with a couple divisions here. Let's see if we can't get the win there. And uh, looks like they're actually trying to move some more over there. They are going on the railroads, I think. Well, maybe not. Nope, they're not going on the railroads. At the very least, we're locking down divisions so we can try and take that, uh, which they're trying to move from Richmond here. So if we didn't want them to be able to get there before us, which, yeah, they, they are taking the railroads, so we'd have to attack them to stop that. And so now we're attacking across the river. Damn it. All right, so that's not desirable. But let's go to go up here. And also, we can try and attempt to help. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. We'll stop that shit. Yep, stop that too. None of those are going to work. All right. Um, let's see how we're doing in the air now. We are yellow, so we are contending. Okay, that's good to see. Uh, and, oh, okay, I thought I saw something there that I did not. All right, so let's go and place these guys into that training army here. We got a lot of divisions sitting here, not doing anything. What we'll do is just make sure that they're at least able to support us if we need them. Uh, they can quickly get across the Atlantic, or maybe not quickly. Nobody goes across the Atlantic quickly, but y'all know what I mean. All right, we could also use the naval base here, though. I don't, I don't see us bombing much over here. I don't think their ships are there any longer. Could move ships here, but I think we'll probably lose them. Mm, yeah, so we won't. All right, so this attack is now no longer working because yeah, they just moved more divisions there, apparently. Maybe if we sent this guy in? Nah, I don't think we're going to win there. Might as well just pull back. We are still winning there, though. So we'll let them continue. Um, this was, again, just to lock troops down. Um, what we could do is go ahead and throw him in. Ah, yeah, we lost. I guess it's irrelevant. Uh, but taking Richmond would be useful if we can get it. So I'll throw some divisions over there. All right. Uh, so remember, we're building up another naval base here just in case. Uh, yeah, like you can see here, they're actually winning. Uh, so what we're going to do is have, if we can retreat there, just retreat there and then pull this back. Because, yeah, this is... We're not defending much of this territory very well. Yeah, they can win here. Uh, it doesn't help that I've uh, done a lot of attacks that have kind of reduced our organization by quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a rough spot. It looks like we might lose there. Yeah, we are definitely going to lose there. Uh, we, we get there in three hours to defend, but, yeah, that's not going to be enough. Uh, we're losing here as well. I think it's time to start preparing for the fact that they very well might push us back here, guys. Yeah, uh, we're losing there too, man. All right, he's re retreating. Okay, yeah, this does not look good. I think we're, we've lost there. Um, we have a port, we have a, this province here, but I don't want to lose this because this is the airbase, man. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to hold on to it. I can try and bring another division over there. See if he gets there in time. Uh, but yeah, overall, this looks this looks bad. Quite bad. When does this guy get here? Uh, probably not soon enough because they keep attacking us here. Oh, yeah, we should stop. Who's moving there? Yeah, let's stop that shit. Ah, damn it. I also stopped him. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, man. We are in a bad position. They could kind of race over here and grab these from us. We'll just have to see. I'm going to try and get there and stop them, but, yeah, I don't think we will. Uh, one day in 22 hours. Looks like we did lose there as well. Yeah. All right, guys. We're in retreat now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're attacking us there. It looks like we did lose the air base there. Um, so that's really unfortunate. I don't know where they put those planes. I might have to go find them. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're about to lose all of this here, guys. So I'm going to stop that. Uh, nobody's here defending this province right now. Not one division's defending that. In fact, let's just go ahead and pull this back, man. We're at risk of perhaps getting destroyed here. Where are those other divisions, man? Oh, we got two destroyers sunk there. They're right here. I don't know if they're going to get here in time, guys. We might have to retreat. Uh, if I fully retreat here. Because, uh, yeah, we're in a, a bad position. Let's take a look at Samoa and see how we're doing. We actually are winning the attack on Samoa, so might be able to get that island wrapped up. Oh, also we have dockyards. Uh, did we finish building something, or did we just get dockyards? Probably just got dockyards from Virginia here. And we uh, took that territory. Uh, we do have some submarines done, though. So let's go and place them into here. And we can actually go ahead and get another task force now. So I'm going to get these guys doing convoy raiding. All right, excellent. 
and just seeing if my admirals have no they do not i've seen if they had any traits available for them all right yeah so we checked that already uh, did we get the airbase built up here at all more uh looks like we did but our allies have put a bunch of fucking planes there um Hmm, or we, oh, okay, the 600 that were over here, got it, uh, have moved, uh, which is fine. We actually want them there, uh, so that'll work. So they still have an airbase. Uh, it is overstaffed now, uh, but remember, we are building it up. Let me make sure, actually, you know, I don't know that we are building it all the way up. Let's go and make sure that they're building it now, and that is right here. Uh, so we can also go ahead and make sure that we have good supply here, maybe get the naval base up a little bit higher just in case. I think five should be high enough, actually, for just planes see if there's anything else we need here infrastructure yeah level five is fine um oh we can actually build here interesting despite i guess just controlling miami is enough well then let's go ahead and get the infrastructure going up here for our troops because i want to send more troops here uh, i don't like our troop numbers at the moment uh so what i want to do is send these guys uh i know that we just sent more, but apparently they aren't going over here. You know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and send them to Florida. I know we could do more invasions with them, but this is the only beachhead we got, and I would really like to advance here if we can. So let's see. I don't know if this is going to exhaust supply. We can always pull them out if it does. Yeah, let's just get them moving over there. And they won't move too many over there if it does exhaust supply. Uh, building this base up, this naval base up here is going to help quite a bit. So we'll just go ahead and build it all the way up to level 10 to make sure we have good supply there. Just kind of focus on getting stuff for Florida so that we can move more troops here. Since that's the only successful beachhead we have, yeah, I think we're going to lose here as well, man. That's the way it looks. And we might have to, like, fully retreat here and get into the naval base. And, and that's why we're building this naval base up, just for, just for safety, in case they got behind us and grabbed Norfolk. Uh, we're trying to get that air base again. I appreciate your ambitions, guys, but I don't think we're going to get that. Uh, so, yeah, just kind of pulling these guys back because they're clearly not going to be able to hold it. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and have this look like this so they stop moving over there. Yeah, they're attacking us there. They were not able to successfully attack us here. I don't want you guys moving. Stay here, please. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them to stay there. Oh, Lord, man. Yeah, we're losing there as well. Yeah, there's just too many divisions here. Look at that. Look at all these fucking divisions, man. That is insane. Uh, they keep attacking us here as well. Now, this is going to be costly for them, so there is that. Uh, this will be costly. I haven't finished up that invasion yet. Uh, but yeah, all these uh, attacks that they're doing here in Florida, given the terrain uh, and the fact that we have a fort, though, I think they're, I think they're both damaged, though. Uh, but yeah, that should result in it being kind of costly for them. Uh, we are both green here. Okay, so we're holding out. That's what's important. So, okay, so that looks like now we're not holding. Uh, so let's actually send this guy here. Okay, this is looking bad. We're getting more divisions coming, um, but they're going to come here with low organization, so we'll have to see if that's going to be enough. And uh, general's sick. Great. Uh, so uh, we got the radar station done. Let's go ahead and build the last radar station. And that means that we are going to want to... Go ahead and say that the uh, light cruisers here are only going to build one. And we're going to get those upgraded. And what we'll do is we'll wait to, to upgrade the destroyers uh, until we have the full radar levels there. Uh, so we did lose a submarine here. Okay. Uh, did we get any more submarines? To, no, we didn't. All right. Let me just double check something here. Yeah, we're still not done with that damn invasion. All right, we're making slow progress because I'm trying to watch this and try not to lose here, man, because it does look like we are about to lose. Uh, it is green there. Maybe we can hold these two provinces. We'll be in the same situation that we're in in the Florida uh, situation where we're just defending two provinces uh, with a full army if we get these guys here in time, which we did. Uh, so they're going to move on over to that front now. Looks like we did lose a division somewhere. Um, huh. Yeah, we had 24 divisions. So we lost one somewhere. I can't say where. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and, and send one of the divisions that is over here uh, to uh, support us over here. I'm just looking for somebody who actually has full training, uh, which there's not many. And I'd like to get more anti-tanks over here as well. Yeah, we'd have to send one that doesn't have the full training uh, with the 25% modifier. They don't really have a lot of tanks, so you know what? Let's just send a... It'd be better to get the 25% modifiers. So we'll just send a regular division over here. Okay. 
So he'll start making his way over here, hopefully, and uh, we'll get one more division to help us out. And we are, in fact, losing submarines over here. Uh, let's take a look and see if we need to change anything up over here. So they're, they're actually sinking the old submarines, these very old, level two submarines. So, you know, that's it's fine. It's fine, we, we're already building a lot of submarines as well, so not really much I can do to change that. And you know, we'll just let these guys go uh, as soon as they done their, finish up their training, because I do think we do control the zone here, we do. Excellent. Uh, these guys here need to get over to this front to help us out. Right now we're only sending two divisions right now, I think that's because of lack of supply there. Uh, and then still here in Samoa trying to get that wrapped up. Okay. Let's go ahead and dip on over here, and we got the improved anti-air upgrade. Let's go and do the last anti-air. And let's see if uh, we're winning here. We are. All right, so we are holding out here. Hopefully we can. Uh, we got the river bonus here if they attack us there. Uh, it is a forest in both of these territories. That gives you a little bit of uh, extra modifier there. They can attack from a lot of provinces. Um, I think there might be a river here too. I don't know, it's hard to say. Maybe there's not. I see the river here, but I can't see if it goes all the way down. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And you just gotta move the front. There is a river. Okay, so uh, any divisions that attack from here, 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 or here, get river penalties. So at the very least, maybe we'll be able to make these be extremely costly, you know, def you know, attacks for them. Uh, I mean, it's not like we're going to deplete the Americans of manpower and equipment, though. So I mean, maybe you might be able to deplete them with equipment. You know, not infantry equipment, maybe not even artillery. But you can deplete them of their uh, of their their tanks. Uh, now we did finish decrypting the American uh, cipher here, uh, but you know what? Let's not use it just yet. Uh, I think we should wait until we're either doing an invasion that's gonna be tougher, or just in a better position on the defense. It does give you a nice uh, let's see here plus fifteen percent defense bonus, so that is helpful. Uh, but yeah, I just don't think it's necessary. We've already launched that invasion, so we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it until a, a better position. Remember, the longer we keep it, uh, the longer we keep the, the passive bonus here, uh, which does help us in the air, which is, is quite helpful because we're trying to get control of this guys right now. Now, as far as who to decrypt next, well, it looks like we're already doing the British, okay. All right, so I'm doing the attack into Puerto Rico, and I'm just trying to make sure that we are able to react to this as soon as we get these. All right, so we can go and attack them there. Get them uh, destroyed. Uh, how many divisions are being destroyed? I'm curious. Let's take a look. Uh, it looks like we're destroying three divisions. Okay, excellent. That's helpful. All right, so doing the attack into Puerto Rico, it does look like it will be successful. Uh, so just trying to get territory that we've already taken once before. We're getting that back. It uh, doesn't look like they can break through here, though they're getting better numbers here. We do have two ports just in case uh, so that we can leave here if they push us back. It doesn't matter which province our divisions go to, they can leave. That's what's important. Uh, we do already have a level 10 uh, base here, so we're getting supply there. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to do here. Uh, we could move some of these 24 divisions over there, um, but I really want to advance in Florida because I feel like that's that'd be the easiest place to advance. Here, it's going to be really tough because they're going to put a lot of divisions around here. Yeah, we'll just have to see, guys. We'll just have to watch these, make sure they stay green. Uh, we did win here. Um, let's go and take a look and see if we can't get across here now. I just would like to go all the way across if we can. Let's have them go all the way across. And uh, hopefully they weren't sending anybody over here. What I think we'll do actually to make sure of that, just take one of these guys, have him pull back, and then just kind of stay here with the fallback line. So they don't take it behind us uh, as they did before. Uh, we can also give ourselves some uh, some, some more close air support coverage here. And I think we will, uh, which we have close air support sitting in Britain. Quite a bit of close air support, in fact. I'm just going to take one of these uh, less experienced ones. Have him provide just a little bit of close air support. You got to be a lot. Uh, and then we're also going to see if we have any space in the airbase. We do not. Uh, but we'll keep them there for now. Uh, but yeah, we need control of another goddamn American airbase. That's what we need, man. Uh, we could go ahead and set up another army to invade. Uh, there's a lot of troops up along the East Coast now. I don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, yeah, uh, we do have enough troops to attempt to build another army. So that would be an option. Uh, and maybe we will go ahead and do that, actually. Let me just take a look and see what we've got all, all over the world here. I mean, we have a lot of divisions that are done training. 
So we could go ahead and set those up, but what I kind of want to do is get a 40 width division design and start planning. This is the reason why we're having some difficulty here, guys. Uh, we don't have 40 width division designs and that's a major issue. And rather than changing these up as we did with the motorized, cause we only had 11 motorized divisions, uh, we have 69 of these divisions and uh, 30 of those. So rather than changing those up, uh, what we're going to do is just duplicate this and, and do another one, a new one. And we'll just start building over here. Uh, so let's get some more artillery. And again, same thing. We're just going to double this up. Uh, so anti-air, you know what, to make this look similar. Let me give these guys anti-air. Oops. Good God. Anti-air there. And then go ahead and just build out the, uh, the rest as infantry. All right. And that'll get us up to 36. There we go. All right. So that looks great. Uh, as far as the situation here, I don't know that there's anything we really need there. Yeah, I think we're going to go here as well. Uh, so we'll just call these monsters. Remember, you guys can provide name suggestions. We haven't really had many name suggestions in this series. We had the Conquistadors uh, for those division designs. But yeah, for right now, we'll just call them monsters. It's my, my little default that I call them because they're big, big divisions. Uh, we'll just call them the monster divisions, give them that little icon. And so, yeah, if you guys want to provide a name suggestion for our 40 width division designs, which eventually we'll want to be moving all of our infantry uh, over to that. And so what I'm going to do, the reason why I want to get this going now is rather than training new ones, uh, and we already have all these guys training up, you know what? I'm, I'm just thinking about canceling this here, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to cancel that and then uh, change up any divisions that we have here, regardless of what their division design is. You know, like these guys will change over to the monsters and hopefully they should be good uh, doing that. And then we'll just change over just all of them, man. Anybody that's here, we got 10 of these guys can change the monsters. Looks like we're going to run out. Yeah, we already added motorized. We know that. And then change these ones over to the monsters. So we'll do this rather than changing ones that are already in combat and just kind of see how that ends up going as far as equipment goes, see what kind of shortages we're facing. As of right now, it doesn't look like we're having any shortages outside of motorized, which is actually getting better, like we're improving that. Uh, so we'll wait to build any more divisions till we get that better improved. Uh, so we have more troops that are now coming over here, and uh, hopefully this allows us to do an attack. You can see that their attacks are just you know, not going well for them. Uh, we are facing some attrition, of course, but I think that's the terrain that we're getting that from. Uh, we got these super heavy armor piercing shells. Uh, I think we're almost done over here, aren't we? Yeah, I want to say, I mean, we can go ahead and get these ones, the bracket shooting. Uh, that's really just for the battleships, though. You know what? It doesn't, when you get over here, it does help the the cruisers. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and keep on, on getting those. Remember, we're just looking to get passive bonuses for the ships uh, because they still have a lot of dockyards. So even though we have sunk their navy, uh, you know, there's definitely a chance that they could build up a navy. Uh, we could find ourselves having some issues. Uh, what the hell's going on over here? Why are these guys all doing close air? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, okay, so what we want to do, oh, they can't do there. Okay, I got it, guys. So basically, are any are all these guys over here? Oh, okay, these are all, all of them are over here, aren't they? Okay, so they're providing us close air support there. Well, let's just have them provide close air support here then. Looks like we could actually use some here. I didn't realize we had these sitting here, so. All right, so let's see how the divisions that are here are doing. Uh, I'm getting all the way across here, get all this territory, just wipe them out here, take away the dockyards, uh, cause them problems. We might have to speed it up if I feel like this defense is like, yeah, that's all we can do. Uh, we did finish up here. I don't think they have any areas left. It looks like they're now moving. Um, what we'll do is we're probably just going to set them up to come here for right now. Oh, we already have divisions here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just delete this. That's right. That's where they kept doing those attacks. We'll just put them here for right now. And we got five divisions there. It feels pretty good. I don't think that... Americans are in a position to do naval invasions anymore. Uh, what we could end up doing is a naval invasion of Mexico. Uh, we might end up doing that, guys. Could also attack here as well. Yeah, we might end up attacking Mexico. I was trying to, to really do Florida, and we have a lot of troops there, so we might be able to attack now, guys. Um, I don't know. They keep on attacking us, so I can't do it. <laughs> so These have got to be costly for us for them, though. they got to be taking casualties, you know, a good number of casualties. I think we still have a division here that's moving. 
yeah, he's getting his way over here. So that'll be t full 24 divisions in Virginia. A lot of these guys cannot get the organization up because they just attack us over and over and over again. And that is how you win. Uh, so, you know, maybe. Maybe they might be able to turn that around. Uh, let's go ahead and put these into the subs. Let's see if we have anything done building. We do. All right, we've got two more destroyers. Do we want these here? Uh, just take a look. Currently have six light cruisers. Yeah, I suppose we'll just put the uh, destroyers there. Let's see if we have any level threes. We do not. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these two, move them over to here, and then that'll get us up to the 20, and the rest of them will go over to that one, which then we'll probably split that one up into two. And then we can take these and just assign them both, in fact, on over to this one. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and do the invasions here as well, which I think we might end up doing once we finish up this, which we're slowly kind of making our way across here and uh, getting all this territory taken. And we might send those divisions, actually, the ones that we have going over there. They're, they're a ways away, so it's going to take them some time to get on, get on over there. Uh, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but let's have him come on over here. And we just have a... Uh, oh, he must have lost in that invasion. I bet that's what happened. Uh, so yeah, Samoa is now in our hands. Um, and there's nowhere for the allies to launch invasions from, you know, this at this point on. Like, they have no, no uh, Pacific Islands left. Uh, so I, I don't expect we'll see any more allied invasions. Now, again, I could be wrong there, but yeah, I don't, I don't think so, guys. I think we've won there. Uh, and now it's just a matter of us trying to get some some wins here. Uh, we don't have good coverage here because this airbase is really far away, man. So it's just kind of a bummer. We can't. We don't have an airbase in either of the two areas we conquered. Uh, these guys here are they training up? Okay, we got these two uh, these two dudes here that haven't trained. Uh, let's just have them train while they. Oh, they are training. Okay, that's why they have no organization. So yeah, trying to get them trained up. Uh, they're still waiting on some equipment. I almost want to just go and launch their invasion now, though. You know what? We're not going to wait on these. Uh, let's just stop the training. And then what we'll do is I think we need to send... Yeah, it looks like they, these got pulled back. So let's go and take the Marines here. Get them going over there. And then how many of these do we have? Let's send one of them then. And let's see where we're at. We're at five. All right, so I think we need to send a few of these. Let's see what this looks like here. All right, I did one extra one. My bad. So let's go and take one of them. There we go. I'm doing 12 and 12. So let's let their organization get up for those two motorized divisions. Again, motorized aren't great on invasions, but the main point why we, reason why we put them there, of course, was uh, so that they can quickly like push forward once they uh, once they land. Yeah. So I don't think they're gonna get here, guys. Uh, I mean, the, the offensive didn't go well. Uh, but at least we're winning on the defense, man. At least there's that. Uh, we can take these guys out. Move them on over to here, I suppose, or whatever. Just move them closer so we can easily... Oh, some of them are actually already over here. All right, move them over here then. Move these guys too. So if we needed them, we could send them on over here. Uh, again, I'm a little bit worried about supplies. I'm not sending too many more divisions. But yeah, I think we're going to start another army once we get these, these monster divisions built up. We'll send another army. Uh, over to Virginia and uh, make it so that we don't even have to worry because look at this guys the organization is stupidly low uh, they're gonna eventually get through here uh, that's just it's a matter of time and they'll get through there you know what I almost want to go ahead and send these guys now I am a little bit worried about supply but yeah I think we might go ahead and send them we don't have any uh, generals that are left these guys are defenders so we won't move them we don't even need this army here anymore, so what we'll do is we'll pull that guy back. And then let me see. I'm just looking for generals that are sitting around that we can make use of. You know, let's just go ahead and sign him here. And then we can send these guys over there now. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and send this uh, army here over to Virginia. Just to have some troops moving over here, because... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to hold out there. How long will we be able to hold out? We do have air experience, uh, so let's go ahead and make use of it. Uh, and something happened with the ships. Not entirely sure uh, why it's lit up there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get... We got the fighters done, uh, so we can go ahead and start working on close air support now. I think that would be good. 
Uh, yeah, we could also do tactical bombers. Uh, that'd be uh, advantageous as well, because we're going to need tactical bombers. In fact, if we had tactical bombers uh, over here, which I think we have some in the stockpile, we should we should use those. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get uh, the close air support improved. Uh, let's go ahead and give them reliability, attack, and some range. Okay, what we'll do, let's make it look like that. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go and save that. And uh, get these building. Oh, whoa. Looks like I didn't have them selected. Let's go and get them building. Mark ones. And then we'll get some close air support. Uh, going, flying from, excuse me, get some, uh, did I not build this all the way up? Let me just double check here. Okay, it's building. It's just taking a little while. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the, uh, the uh, tactical bombers flying from uh, over here. Uh, let me see how much room we have. Uh, no room, actually. Okay. So what we need to do, and we could have them fly from here, I suppose. This would work. Uh, we also have the ones that are assigned here. So what we could do is have them all move over to here if they're not already. It looks like they're already over there. Okay. Um, so there's just no damn room over here. Uh, so let me just see what we can do to kind of fix this. We might just need to move them back over to here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, well, we want some close air support providing us coverage here. Let's just do it here. It's fine. It's not that much farther away. Uh, the tactical bombers should be able to, to bomb from here. I don't know how many tactical bombers we have. It doesn't look like a lot. Okay, we don't really have a whole ton of tactical bombers. Uh, so what we'll do is just get like an air wing of 100. Anything to kind of help us out here, man. And do they have... Yeah, they are not going to have good coverage there. Okay, I thought they would be a little bit better on the range, but yeah, it's not it's not great. All right, well, we'll send what we got, and they'll be able to at least help in Florida. Not that Florida really needs a lot of assistance right now. Uh, we finally got that other division over here, so that'll be helpful. Uh, of course, he'll get here with no organization, but well, we have outdated equipment. Oh, the attack cruiser. Okay, we'll let him finish up. It's fine. All right, so uh, see what we sunk over here. Uh, looks like uh, they're actually bombing us. They're bombing our, our ships that are going through here. And so these guys are now on the defense. We want to go ahead and attack uh, into these two provinces here, so we need to wait until that's done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send just one over here because there's nobody else there. And get those divisions destroyed there. How many divisions are we destroying? It looks like just one. Oh, we had two. Okay, and he's already he's already destroyed. So we got all this territory taken. And next, we'll go ahead and invade over here, I suppose. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll use these eight divisions as soon as they finish up here. And at the very least, we're doing something. We're taking islands, uh, taking islands away from the away from the allies. Uh, so let's go and see where we want to invade from. Uh, we can, you know, if we invaded these two, that would give us more air bases. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and invade uh, these two islands. I don't think there's any troops there either. Uh, and these guys are ready to go too. So we'll send the Red Army. In fact, let's send them now. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and attack into those two ports. And yeah, this is gonna be a tough, tough fight, guys. This is no joke, man. These guys are serious. <laughs> they are gonna cause us some problems. They will not give up, the Americans. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna split these. I think these are all signed here, right? Yeah, maybe let me double check. I'm just gonna take, uh, where's this guy? Okay, so yeah, that does work. And then take these guys and have them do the attack here. All right, excellent. We'll attack in those two islands. That gives us more space to build air bases. Somebody asked me why I didn't attack uh, Cuba. Cuba's not in the war right now, so we would have had to get a war goal against them. Uh, so that's the reason why I didn't, you know, attack Cuba and use them as an air base. It would be helpful having them as an air base. You know, if we continue having issues here for a longer period of time, if I just feel like I can't get through here. Now, again, we are getting two more islands where we can build air bases. So, actually sunk some stuff here now. All right, excellent. Uh, but yeah, if we have more trouble, if this continues to be an issue, then we will uh, attack Cuba because we'll have a whole bunch of troops with nothing to do with them. So... Uh, these Marines here are done training, uh, so we could go ahead and move them uh, for more naval invasions. Uh, but you know, we're just going to wait. Uh, it's only three divisions or four divisions, not much. So we'll just wait. And 
Uh, yeah, because I don't want them in Florida. Uh, I don't want to use them for naval invasions. Uh, and I'm really hoping that the Axis will do some goddamn attacks, man. Uh, they have territory here to attack from, uh, to do naval invasions. They have Greenland they can do naval invasions from. Uh, the Japanese could invade the Pacific Coast. Uh, so far, they're just not doing anything, man. It's just like we're doing all of the work. Little old Portugal. Nobody's helping us. Uh, so hopefully they, they get their shit together, man. All right, let's go and attempt an attack here. Now, we probably don't want to send all of these guys, because, uh, yeah, they'll cause some, some problems. Let's go and attack over here and see if they get a win. They would get a win. All right, so, yeah, maybe we can push forward here now. Been trying to push here forward for a little while now and have had some difficulty doing so. Uh, they are going to attack us there. What we need to do is just go ahead and start prepping for them to uh, leave here. I don't know if we're going to get the win here. It's really hard to say. I mean, it's green right now, but yeah, they're pulling back. All right, so let's go ahead and just throw these ones in now. We'll probably just have to rotate divisions in, is what I'm guessing. Just kind of keep the pressure in on them. See if we can't get the win. Yeah, like this is a loss right now. So let's just go and pull it back and then just kind of do attack with somebody else. These two can do this attack here. How are these guys looking? Just pull that one back and do that attack there. And a lot of these guys still have their organization, so let's just get the ones that still can. And again, we're just rotating divisions in. That's typically the way you have to do this. Send them as well, so maybe we can get there quicker. And it's, it's interesting that they're allowed to attack us here. I don't understand that. Like, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, they don't let me do that shit. And when they're being attacked, they're still able to do an attack, and they're gonna bomb our guys going all the way across. It looks like they, they failed. Oh, shit. Uh, well, let's have them go back over here. Yeah, they failed miserably. Okay, that's a shame. Again, I didn't even see the invasion, but it looks like there's enough troops there to stop us. Uh, there is a division there. Uh, these are not great divisions, so we'll see if they succeed or not. They need three more days to get the planning done. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a tougher fight than we had anticipated, guys. The Americans are strong, man. They are strong. Uh, it does look like we will win here. I'm going to take these... Couple, send a couple divisions over here. Kind of keep rotating divisions in. Make sure they can't take that if we ever win there. I don't want all those divisions to go over there. And then, yeah, I mean, it looks like we're going to win here. Awesome. We have two full armies here, so you'd expect that we would get the win. But, yeah, I don't know why they're allowed to attack us. That is so weird. Yeah, super weird. I said we got overrun, too, so I think we might have just destroyed some troops. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we didn't lose any of our troops, so... All right, so we're sending uh, divisions over that way. Uh, let's go ahead and have, it looks like there are more going as well. Let's, get, let's keep these ones here. We did uh, already retreat because just the motorized division got there, but was lonesome. Uh, so we'll have to see if the other guys can get there in time. Got a few there. We'll have to see, they're attacking with quite a few divisions, guys. A lot of divisions, man. Let's send uh, some more over there. Make sure we don't uh, lose this. We worked so hard towards getting it's been a tough fight, guys. All right, so it is green now. And they'll start balancing these out for us. Uh, but I'm just kind of forcing divisions to come on over here. Could attack into the airbase with multiple divisions and, and get that airbase. But again, I'm kind of being a stupid here. <laughs> I feel like if I get behind them, then it won't be worth it. <laughs> I'll be able to justify it. Man, these guys are just so weak, man. I, hopefully, hurry, hurry up and get these Red Army troops here. Uh, again, they're going to come here and... You know what we might want to do with them is have them initially just uh, get their organization back up because if they go straight to if they go straight into the, onto the front line here, uh, then what's going to end up happening is that they're they're still going to have the low organization. The whole reason why I sent them over there is so that they could uh, help them out. I don't know how well that would end up working. Uh, let's take a look at these guys ready to go. They are all right. So let's go and execute that. Take those islands there. That'd be helpful. Still winning here. And it's going to be a slow grind, I think, uh, defeating the Americans, which this is why uh, in that French series uh, we had defeated everybody but the Americans who declared war on us despite us. It didn't make any sense. That's the main reason why I didn't, uh, didn't you know, actually invade the Americans. That was the only thing we didn't do. We didn't defeat the Americans in that one. And there's a couple reasons for that uh, that I talk about in that series for those of you who didn't, uh, aren't seeing that series. Uh, the main two reasons was because... They just, it didn't make any damn sense. They attacked Argentina because they, America gets these decisions to intervene in the Americas. And so they attacked Argentina, who was our ally, or maybe our puppet, actually, uh, to be precise. 
And it just didn't make sense for them to, we were like best friends with America, like good friends with America. Like we were trading with them. Uh, they were giving us lend lease. Uh, we had great relations with them and yet they still declared war. Uh, so it didn't make any sense. So that was one reason why I didn't want to, uh, and we did win here, excellent. And we destroyed two American heavy cruisers. All right, lovely, lovely. Uh, so this will allow us to build up um, more air bases here, which we'll go ahead and build up another naval base there. And uh, take that up to the top, make sure that they can supply these planes that are here. And then can we not, okay, maybe this is all one air zone here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we can't, won't let us build here. So we can't do the airbase there. All right, and this airbase here might apply to this one too. All right, I was hoping that it would be mul like considered multiple different states here so that I could uh, uh, build another airbase there. Yeah, we didn't declare war on the air. We didn't invade the Americans because, uh, you know, it didn't make any damn sense for them to have attacked us. It was just beyond stupid. It was also outside the realms of the goal for that campaign, which was really just to conquer Europe, which we'd already done. Uh, we'd already defeated everybody. I mean, with the, the defeat of the Russians, that, that series was pretty much technically done as far as goals go. But the other reason, oh, we've actually fucking lost here. Good God. So we stretched ourselves out just to uh, end up losing here. Now, some of these guys are almost there. So what I'm going to do is not move them. And let's attack here, guys, to try and stop them. Uh, and, yeah, it looks like they're moving down this way. We might have had too many divisions up over here. So we ended up losing. I don't know how these guys retreated, actually. I think it was uh, some bullshit, honestly. Yeah, like uh, that reinforcement bullshit that, you get, that happens. Where it's like, oh, well, we can't reinforce. We could also send these guys in here. And we could take the air base. I was trying to cut, uh, trying to cut these guys off, which I think we can cut them off. Maybe we should just get the airbase, man. Stop being, a, stop being stupid. I don't know that we can actually win there now that I'm looking at it. So we might just need to send him here. Still attacking there with just, again, the attempt to uh, help reinforce this until we get all these troops here. It is green now, but I think we pulled back. It would probably be in a law, end up being a loss. A lot of divisions there. 32 divisions there. It's like 200 destroyers. Um, these guys are now done, so let's go ahead and stop. Actually, we'll stop there thing here and then just go and delete those I don't know if there's anything else to attack oh there's still uh, a base over there okay I didn't see that all right let's go ahead and oh there's a couple of them so we'll go ahead and attack those two then attack right there and uh, these four here we'll attack there uh, the Bahamas, Bahamas have like a lot of little islands that all have their own damn ports so yeah, I guess it's kind of irritating all right, so these guys are here. Um, organization is not quite high enough. We're going to let them get the organization up again before we send them over to that front. Uh, so I think we should be able to hold Virginia now. Uh, how are we doing in the skies? Are we even, like, challenging them at all? No. They have, like, 1,600 planes. Uh, but, yeah, the final reason why I didn't want to invade in America in the end of the series is simply because... And we actually are winning here. Wow. Okay. Whatever. We'll take the air base. That might let us get control here. We can cut troops off in other locations. We need that damn air base. We need it. That right, we're gonna go ahead and just say, yeah, we'll just go ahead and have these guys attack over here. It does look like we're gonna get there first, hopefully, anyways. We'll see. Uh, remember, these guys are all attacking over that way as well. Yeah, I think we should be able to get the win here and get the air base. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the final reason why I didn't want to invade America in that one is because we're doing it in this one. So I didn't want to do it in two uh, campaigns at the same time. Uh, so I was kind of played a big role in it. Uh, and now we need to attack with all these guys. Looks like they have stymied our efforts. Come on, get the win there. Maybe we won't be able to, I don't know. They just got so many goddamn troops, man. They've got a lot of them. And yeah, now we're losing here. <laughs> all right, so yeah, it might not work out, guys. We tried, we tried. Uh, but to get the advanced anti-air, uh, let's go ahead and get anti-tanks now. Not seeing a ton of tanks being used by the Americans, but there are some. And just because they don't have the tank icon doesn't necessarily mean that their division design doesn't have any tanks. All right, so yeah, these guys are planned up. We'll let them continue. Uh, these guys, let's just train them up to. What is this about? Huh? Why are we even getting that notification? You don't typically get that notification. All right, that's weird. Super strange. All right, so uh, finishing up those islands, and then I think we might end up doing an invasion of Mexico, guys, because we're having so much goddamn difficulty here on all these fronts. Just have to keep opening more and more fronts to stretch out their divisions because they have so many damn divisions. Uh, so that's really the only only option. 
kind of stretch them out. Uh, we do have more military factories though, uh, so let's go and get these placed. Uh, oh, we need to improve the anti-air as well. We can get the new ones out there, I mean. All right, well, let's see what we need. Uh, I don't actually know, it's probably still motorized. We have fixed a lot of the motorized issues, but they're not completely dealt with, uh, and this is impacting our division. So you know what, let's just go and get, I'm going over there, we have the rubber for it, which would be the main reason why I wouldn't want to assign more factories to it, but if we got the rubber, let's make it happen. So we can send these guys. Um, let's just have them go as soon as they're ready. Uh, and we have sunk another American light cruiser and another one. All right, awesome. Uh, so we'll have to take a look at their navy. Uh, in fact, we are done with the episode here. Uh, man, that sucks. Having fun with it, even though we're we're having so much problems. Uh, I like the the, the challenge, man. Uh, and we lost that damn province again. Good fucking night, guys. I sent them all over there. Yeah, we lost the province again. They pushed us back. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it did. It did happen. So, good God. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a tough fight. I like the challenge, though. Uh, like, how to crack the United States. I just didn't want to do it in two campaigns at the same time. But, yeah, I do like... Uh, the United States can be tough sometimes, man. Uh, getting the beachhead and getting the fronts to stretch them out uh, sometimes can be difficult because they, they race over there to push you back into the sea as soon as you get there. And it looks like they have a stupid amount of divisions. That's what I'm seeing right now, guys. We're at 13% of the total war participation. Uh, total war participation, excuse me. Uh, we take in 274,000 casualties. So quite a bit now. 144,000 against Americans. We're going to have to compare uh, with the Americans see how many they've lost. Uh, 16,000, that's how many the Persians have lost. Spain has taken 97,000 casualties. Venezuela, 325, they've lost a lot of troops. Uh, I think most of those against Brazil, wasn't it? It was against the United States, but I wonder. Oh yes, there was those invasions. Yeah, maybe that was what it was from. Uh, probably not many more casualties for the Axis, because they're not doing shit. Same thing with the Japanese. Uh, so, you know, we're just going to keep on increasing total war participation. Not that long ago, we were sitting at 5%, now we're at 13%. Uh, so... You know, it's going to give us more opportunities in the peace treaty. So, looking at the UK, uh, they are now 3.48 million casualties. We did 322,000. I looked at that because we are fighting the UK right now. Uh, they have troops there. Again, uh, all the allies are going to have troops there. Just look at uh, Canada here. Uh, we've killed 94,000 of the Canadians. Uh, the Mexicans, we have killed 209,000. Good God, that's a lot. Uh, and just taking a look at, in comparison... Yeah, really, UK and the Dutch are really who we've been fighting uh, in the, the campaign. Uh, so the United States uh, has taken 7.18 million casualties, guys. That is a stupid amount, and we have killed 1.6 million. 1.6 million casualties for only 144,000 against the Americans on our side. So these are some big, big wins, but look at how many divisions they got, guys. 300-something divisions. We have 230. Uh, a lot of those are, are kind of cruddy divisions, too. Uh, so... Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough fight, guys. That's a lot of divisions, man. Oh, I want to take a look at their navy. Uh, so let's go and do that now. Take a look at what they've got. We should also look at their uh, manpower. They only have... They must have. Yeah, they had a million last time we looked at them. I think we killed a ton of Americans in this uh, episode. Uh, I don't think we we're anywhere near that 1.6 million casualties we just got from the last episode. So I think we just killed a lot of Americans. I imagine they're also probably... You know, building more troops because they always do as the AI. Uh, they're down to 20 something ships. That is it. Let's take a look at Canada. About maybe 18, 19 ships. Remember, we don't have a very large navy ourselves, uh, but I think we at this point are dominating the seas. Uh, so we can go and take this destroyer, move him over to here. And uh, we do have more submarines that can get placed as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two and move them over here. And then this guy can start his own. Uh, little task force here so we can eventually get up to 10 uh, task force again all right so uh that is oh we actually need to move these these divisions or excuse me these task force as well uh, so we'll do that next episode we need to move them out of there there's no reason to have them there any longer uh but again this one's over so we'll move them in the next episode uh we could help start in a patrol here but we'll probably get hit kind of hard by the american air force so we won't uh, i'd like to seize control of this zone though if we can uh, so maybe that's where we'll start here. But yeah, I, I just don't know, don't know what the Axis are doing, man. Like, they're just not helping. Uh, I hope they start launching some invasions eventually. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode, which, remember, will be on Sunday. We'll have a Sunday episode. Uh, so I will see you then, and thanks for watching, guys.